Hi, Year 5. Um, today I'm here to talk to you about can I use efficient methods to multiply mentally? And the reason you need to know this is so that you can pick the best and the quickest strategy when you are trying to do something um, mentally in your head. So we're going to have a look today at four different methods and see if we can find out what the most efficient method is to select when you are faced with a multiplication. So I'm going to have a look at this multiplication first here with you. So 25 multiplied by eight. And you can see here on the screen, there are four different methods. So let's have a look at method number one. So what have we done here? We've broken it down, we've partitioned it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do 20 multiplied by eight. So I've drawn an array here, probably going to, it's going to take you quite a long time to do that. So maybe not the most efficient method. However, we're going to have a look at it. So an array of 20 um, by eight, multiply that together, which gives you 160. Okay. The next thing you do then is do split it so you've done the 20 part now do the five part by eight also five times eight nice and easy one is 40 which added together gives you 200 okay so we're going to have a look at the other three methods obviously you know the answer now is 200 but this part of the the lesson is more about um, understanding the methods and being able to decide which one is the most efficient method to select. So method two, okay, still using an array. So we know we need to multiply 25 by eight. So each one of these arrays, I'm just going to get my pen and write or, or annotate over the screen. So each one of these arrays, if you were to count it, is five by eight. OK, I don't need to count those arrays because I know quite quickly and quite easily what for, for, um, what five times eight is. So five times eight is 40. OK, so in each one of my arrays, I know that I've got 40. OK, so there's my squiggles. So I've now got 40 five times in each part. So five times 40 is 200. Okay, that's just a different method to use there. So splitting it up into intersections that are easier for you to multiply. OK, method number three. So this is um, something a little bit different again. So you're doing. Um, so this way, what we've done here is we've got 25 times um, 10. OK, so obviously that's going to give us a bigger answer than what we need, but it might be easier mentally to use a 10 than it would be to use an eight. OK, so if you can. Uh, think about it easily, quickly now in your head, 25 times 10 is 250. Okay, and then very easily in your head as well, you can do 25 times 2 because you're just doubling because you're multiplying by 2, which gives you 50. Okay, and then you can do 250, take away 50, which gives you 200. Okay, and if you wanted to, because you wanted to check, you could add up all of the little counters here, and you would see that that's 200, and that's 50. Okay, so you've got two lines of 25 there, and you've got your eight lines of um. 25 there okay so another really good method if it is like for example uh, you're 25 times eight and you think all oh, that might be a little bit tricky so i'm going to round it up to 10 so it is a good method depending on what what multiplication it is you're trying to work out and then finally we've got method number four where um what you're going to do this time is you're going to do a little bit of a division in there because it is um easier for you 
to multiply 50 by 8 than it would be multiplying 25 by 8 in your head because we all know um, that 50 times 8 is like saying 5 times 8 and then adding a zero or 1 at the end. So you know that 5 times 8 is 40, therefore 50 times 8 must be 400. And then we are now needed to divide it by 2 because obviously 50 is double 25. And we want to know what 25 times 8 is, not what 50 times 8 is. Therefore, we get our same answer of 200. OK. Have a little watch back through this if, if, you're, if you're still confused. Um, but if you're with me and you're 100% um, that you understand the four different methods, then we can move on and we can have a look at how we would apply this methodology to today's do it. OK, so. These are slightly different numbers, not as straightforward as to 25 times 8. However, you can still apply the same methodology or adapt it to work. Because remember, our can I is, can I use the most efficient method to multiply mentally? OK, uh, so the idea is that you don't have to write anything down in terms of your long multiplication to get to the answer. So to work out 143 by 20, I'm going to partition it off again. I'm going to look at that sum and I'm going to make it more simple. So I'm going to write it here just so I don't forget. So 143 time multiplied by 20. I think in my head it's going to be easier for me to do 100 times 20. So I'm going to do 100 times 20. OK, so I'm looking at method one for this. And then I'm going to do 40 by 20. And then I'm going to do three by 20. OK, so you see what I've done. I've broken the 143 down into three simple steps that I can multiply in my head. So 100 times 20 gives me 2000. OK, and I know this because there are one, two, three zeros. So I know that, don't I? Uh, so 20, 40 times 20. I know that that is 800 because I easy, I know what four times two is. Therefore, I can work that out as well. And then I can do three times 20, which I know is 60. OK, so then in my head mentally, I'm going to add that up. So 2000 plus 800 is 2800 plus the 60 gives me 2860. OK. So I've selected method one here to, to be able to work that out. OK, so the next one then is 64 multiplied by 100. Well, actually, I don't really need to do any of those. I just know that if I'm multiplying by, by 100, then I need to be adding two zeros onto my answer, don't I? So I've got 264. If I was multiplying by 10, it would become 2,640. But I'm not, I'm multiplying it by 100, so I'm going to add on my two zeros and then I'm going to be able to say 26,400. If you're doing something like that, you need to be very careful about your place value and um, where you're lining it up and thinking about it in your head, okay? So just don't make a, a silly mistake and not put, carry enough uh, zeros over. Um, Number three, very similar to number two, isn't it? It's the same 264, but this time I'm multiplying by 50, not by 100. Therefore, if I know that 264,000 times by, sorry, 264 times by 100 gives me 26,400, Therefore, I know that my answer to this one is going to be what? Yes, I've kind of used method four here, haven't I? I've got the big number, but now I need to divide that, don't I, by two. I'm not going to write, do the answer for you. I want you to have a go at working that out for yourself. But that's the methodology that you need to use for that one. If we have a quick look at number four, I possibly for this one would go back to what I did for number two here 
and I would do 648 and I would multiply it by 100. So I'd be using this method again here, method four. And then I would find my answer to that and then I would divide it by two because it's a lot easier to multiply by 100 than it is 50. Okay. Next one is 20 multiplied by 99. Well, again here, it's probably going to be easier for me to multiply 20 by 100 as opposed to 20 by 99. Therefore, I'm going to look at my four different methods, decide which one I need to do, and then I'm probably going to end up doing a takeaway here. So that's using method three, if I remember correctly. So I'm doing my 20, I'm going to multiply it by my 100, then I'm going to take away one multiplied by 99 aren't I okay remember there not to make a silly mistake and not multi, uh, not take away enough numbers and then the last one author also will use um method three as well so rounding up to 200 multiplied by 30 and then I would probably then take away uh, one lot of 30 from it okay have a go Rewatch my demonstration of the four methods at the start. Any problems, email in and one of us will get back to you and help you. But I'm hoping that you'll be able to fly through this and really think about the best, most efficient method um, and strategy to use to multiply mentally in your head. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.